Test one, two. Good morning, Tiger Moth time. I didn't wait, I just went ahead and bought it. Matt, let me know that it's out. <laughs> size of the, the whole tail basically is the rudder very responsive you can turn this thing just to the rudder it'll just roll it it's just rudder i'm not touching the ailerons aileron is not uh very responsive very slow because it's there's no aileron on the top it's only on the bottom and and look at the, the when you when Inside the turn, like if I turn this way, this is the inside of the turn, the out, that's the outside of the turn, the wing that's pointing up, that's pointing the outside of the turn, the wing that's pointing down is the inside of the turn. Hey, good morning, Raz. And so, this, the aileron, when I'm turning this way, the inside of the turn, it really deflects up a lot, and that's what makes most of the turn. The down, the outside of the turn aileron doesn't push down that much. It's a really interesting system. So not very fast rolling plane. But I was reading a bit about it. It comes with a manual. How are you, Raz? Everything good? And this plane... Easy to fly, hard to master, which makes it a very good trainer airplane. Alright, look, there's a little speed gauge over there, miles per hour. The air just pushes that little thing, and you can see how fast you're going. You also have, like, an old-school wind gauge here. You can click on it. It's a nice feature to change to a modern one. And two different types of modern ones as well, which is nice. And also the altitude gauge. You can put a, a click to, to uh, change it to a, two different types of modern ones. Uh, which is uh, really cool. Uh options sprained ankle Ooh. while working or do you play basketball by any chance that's can sell us let's uh turn the music off a little bit and just fly a little bit just to really get the the sound of this airplane. I like the sounds, not as good as the the PT-17 Stearman, but the, for me the PT-17 Stearman is the best sounding aircraft. My flight simulator. 
Um, I'm not sure if this uh, is 3D sound, actually. I don't see that much difference with the panning. Look at that beauty. A beautiful airplane. We'll stay at uh, just 50 RPM below max. Well, max it goes about 2200, that's 2150, I think, this is cruising, if I remember right. 1900 to 250. That's 2100, let's leave it at 250. Now, home leaving for work, not killing step when I did a slight bigger step to normal and slipped. Oh, that's so nice of you. That's a well worn spring, then. I would do the same thing. So, but sorry you hurt your ankle. Oh, that's not book length. Alright, need Icebird here to, to write book, book length comments. <laughs> Flying over London right now. This is I was looking for the airfield that this plane first flew at. But um, it doesn't exist anymore. It's in London. It's, a, it's, a, it's now basically just full of houses. Yeah, all, a lot of the air of the sounds of outside sounds of airplanes and Microsoft Flight Simulator, they're not bassy enough. There's the one that the one that gets it right is PT-17 Stearman in terms of just feeling like you're flying. Um, I, I really enjoying this. Wish your home flying. <laughs> yeah, sound is good, but not as I'll, I'll compare it with the PT-17, which is my favorite sounding one. You know, that is just love. It's just. Maybe this is how this really sounds, but it feels a little, little weak on the bass, and there's no wind sounds. Like if I cut throttle, okay. I don't hear a lot of wind sounds. You're in a biplane. You're you're out here. Should be hearing a lot of wind sounds. All right, so those are missing. But I love the the propeller. I love how it looks compared to all the other planes. This is my favorite propeller. How it looks like when you cut the throttle. Then this is how it actually looks in real life, right? You can actually see it when you cut the throttle, but it, it doesn't look like cartoonish. It looks like a real thing up there. I did custom code for this apparently, and it looks really good. Also from the outside view, you can see it. Look at that. That looks really good compared to the default Microsoft Flight Simulator airplanes. And then when you speed up, it just disappears. But that's really nice. A very pretty looking thing. This very friendly looking little flying wolf. Find cat wolf or something. That's a really nice thing. The wheels spin. There's a bunch of different options. You can open the, the doors. You can open the, the, the storage compartment, which is on this side here over there. You can open the engine. You can change uh, the style of things, like the uh, like Ito tube, where it's um, Australian or English. There's like 3 million options. The. The PT-17 Stearman has wind. That, that is for me the best sounding airplane in the entire game. And that has wind sounds. I'll, I'll compare and contrast with this a little later. Now I'm just doing a little bit of fly around. The classic British compass that's always confusing for me to read. Wherever, wherever the little, wherever the little uh, cross is, that's north, I think. Let's see if we can point north towards north and then we'll double check. There it is. I think that little cross means that's north. Let's check on the outside view. Are we heading north now? Yes, uh, we're more or less north. enjoy flying this though it flies slowly but when you're close to the ground it's 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 as they say a really good trainer airplane because easy to fly but hard to master fly it smoothly you need a lot of coordination of the rudder and the um, 
the stick. Let's get down. Let's head towards London town. Uh, let's uh, follow this train track over here. Right in the weeds. Uh, to see how it's flying. Um, from uh, a perspective closer to the ground. Which will give you the sense of speed. We're a uh, 100 knots over here in this little dive. A turbulent heat. Quite a bit of turbulence here in the uh, London area. The construction. I think that's the fuel gauge up there. I'm not sure. I think that's the fuel tank up there. I'm probably wrong now. That can't be the fuel tank. How the heck would it feed into the engine? I don't know. Let's read up about it. The tank's probably right in front. Let's leave it at a 2,050 RPM, the cruising speed. There's two engine modes. There's easy and, uh, and hard and realistic. The realistic one, you have to be careful about fouling spark plugs and all these other things. I think I have them realistic right now. I'll show you the once we do a landing somewhere, we'll land in Hyde Park or something. We'll uh, we'll take a look at uh, the little iPad thing that's right there that you can pull up and you can see the various options you have for this. I think that's the Millennium Stadium, was it called? Let's go take a look. above us climb a little bit this is the f my first purchase of a, a sim developer called ants airplanes i think they're based out of australia very nicely detailed in a, a cockpit and a model it's the gorgeous air, air aircraft this there's also options that you can if you don't want to see these placards you can click on them to, to hide them, which is nice as well, another little, nice little option. You can actually spin this around if you're not comfortable with it being uh, in that angle. I've never flown in a steerman, so I don't know if that's uh, how they usually mount the, the RPM uh, gauge over there. Wembley. Place of lots of drama if you like sports I forgot there's the World Cup this year I don't know if it's being boycotted by most people because it's in Qatar that uh, has late labor still but um, it's in November to December really. where's the city down there okay, let's head to the city Matt Told me about this and I scooped it up straight away because it's one of my favorite biplanes. This and the Stearman. A lot of World War II pilots uh, first flew in these airplanes. First flight, uh, October 1931, this one I think. And I think there's about 300 still flying. They're very popular still. They're, I think, pretty easy to maintain and uh, fairly affordable. Compared to most other airplanes, I think. And yesterday, I actually submitted this in a couple with a couple of its libraries to NeoFly developers, so that we can have a NeoFly to start those flights again eventually. I have to give a break to my Microsoft Cloud sim Flight Simulator streams uh, during October because I'm going to be away from my gaming uh, PC. I'm going to be visiting my mom, so we'll still have some streams, but Microsoft Flight Simulator is going to be on pause until I come back to the gaming PC here. I'm 
There she is. The Haviland Tiger Moth. Pop your ass. Hey, what? You have a wedding coming up, right? Is it this coming weekend or did it just happen? Some screenshots here. Oh! Oh, end of October. Okay, copy that. Hope you have a good day at work there. Won't be too productive, you know. Just do, uh, just do what you what you need to do, and and then take time for yourself. <laughs> nice. Warning, persons fly in this aircraft at their own risk. This aircraft has been designed for special operations and is not operated to the same safety standards as a normal commercial passenger flight. Interesting thing about this airplane too is that the magnetos are out here. Those are the magnetos out there. See off is to the bottom. And there's, uh, it's a trainer so there's space for two people. And you cannot cut the engine by Another another odd thing is this this here is the mixture, and right now it's it's full open. So pulling back, it opens up and pushing forward uh, uh, closes it. But you can't cut the engine off by leaning the mixture. You have to turn it off with the magnetos for some reason. I, I forget why, but that's the way it is. Are we waiting for IL2 to go on sale? It'll probably go on sale soon. I don't know about no. I think it is on sale. Maybe IL2. I think it may be on sale right now. Or maybe I'm thinking of DCS. DCS started a sale as well. The old way is the way. Dude, I didn't. I ended up not getting uh, Sea of Thieves yet because I'm gonna be a. There's a London Eye. I'm gonna be away from my PC that can run it. It doesn't run on the Mac, so I just decided to wait for the next sale. And I just and I got Horizon Zero Dawn in the sale, so lots of video games to play. And I got this plane now, so and I should start. Should really stop spending money for a while now. What's that park up there? Is that Kew Gardens? Let's fly down the Thames, the Thames for a bit. It's a wonderful wing. This airplane that's uh there's a uh, modified it used to be straight but um they increased the weight i believe and they put the the second place for the second uh, pilot spot and so they moved the wing forward but to keep the center of lift in the center of the airplane they they, they swept the back of it it's really about that on the wikipedia page like playing balsa model flight simulator and making it in like this one. Someone almost certainly already did it, but we could try our own hand at it. Raz might get Syrian P51 for DCS and call it quits for a bit for DCS so the 130 comes out. Copy that. Yeah, I was looking yesterday at DCS, I updated the latest version and I, uh, I was looking at dynamic campaigns. I think it would be fun to try a dynamic campaign and there's this 
one for the P51 uh, Normandy map. Um, it's a free thing. It's it's not something you buy. Uh, I might try that. I'm forgetting the name of it right now. But I just typed P51 DCS Dynamic Campaign and that came up. Right, here we go. I am by the Tate Modern here. That's St. Paul's. There's a Tate Modern. Classic Pink Floyd album, Animals. The, the cover of that is a picture of this Battersea power station with, with, a, with an inflatable pig flying by it. Great album. Tate's modern. Went to an exhibition here in 2004, I think. There's this giant sun on one end, with a giant mirror behind it. A really cool exhibition in the turbine gallery there. Gonzalez, please turn on the music. Big Ben. Houses of Parliament. And on this bridge, I don't have, I'm taking a break of the landing guesstimator until I'm back from Rome in November. Too fast. land somewhere and we're gonna go somewhere else that is a little more remote less built up like London is and where this airplane was in a film that's one of my favorite films the English patient we're gonna go fly by Tunisia let's climb a bit and find a spot put her down here Hey, Space Star. I will get back to Star Citizen eventually, but that's going to have to wait until November, I believe. I may do one this week. Because I'm going to be away from my gaming PC for a while. Or my streaming PC, I should say. 
Thanks for dropping by. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. I don't think uh, the Federal Aviation Authority would approve us landing on a road. Uh, unless it's an emergency, then, you know, you're the captain of the airplane. You do what you what you can to bring her down safely. But look, there's a little park here. Interesting thing about another quirk of the Tiger Moth is it has no brakes, this airplane. There are no brakes. Although they have implemented... Uh, they, if you press the brakes, it will slow down. That's in the pilot's uh, the manual, the handbook. So a tricky one to do short takeoff and landing maneuvers you need enough ground roll if you're gonna treat it like the real thing to, to roll to a stop london is so big it's amazing crazy how big the city is. Oh yeah, to copy that, that's true. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it'll ever be finished, but maybe, you know, the, a gameplay loop and uh, your data and your stuff will be saved and maybe one other system so you can travel between two systems uh, i'd already be happy of that even if they stayed of one system you know but yeah there's a ways to go okay, let's try to land right there i think the wind is coming from that direction let's try to bring her in as slow and slow as we can the corner of that field don't know if it'll be... Oh, here you go. This is a better one. This is a better one right, right below us here. So much turbulence. Oh, oh! Did you see that? It hit. That was an interesting little piece of damage. Model. It hit the, the. I hit the tail on that tree and it flipped it over. This is one thing I've noticed about this plane as well is that uh, it's it's more forgiving if you if you bump it into something you don't automatically get the Microsoft uh, Microflight Soft Simulator screen of uh, death. It actually lets you bump into things a bit. It's only when you flip it over like I just did that you actually have a crash. So let's uh, let's go down here to Tunisia where. The English patient was uh, filmed uh, both in Tunisia and in Italy. But there were scenes of the English patient filmed down here by a mountain oasis. And um, let's just fly around here a bit. I'll try to find the spot I used to know where it was. We'll just put ourselves on top over here. Set it as departure. Try a different library. Let's try the, the silver one. Another quirk of this: Do you have an oil tank? This this engine burned a lot of oil, so you had to make sure that the oil was full as well. Let's go ahead and give ourselves full, uh, almost full oil and almost full fuel. I think that you may have to load into the game world for it to pick this up because of the way it's coded. Because of another quirk, we'll find out. When I get in now, I'm gonna see if the, the oils and the and the fuel actually went to 90% if they stayed at 100. In the real world getting cooler here in Michigan, but it's still uh still very variable. Today's war today's warmer than yesterday.
do hear a bit of wind. Not as strong as uh, the PT-17, but you do, there is a bit of wind noise. I cut down the, the engine noise quite a bit. Let's land, and so I can show you some of the features. Should we attempt a landing, attempt a landing right on the top here? Let's try that. One of these hills. That could be a decent spot over there. Try that, we'll go uphill. Unconventional. See, look at that. I'm upside down and, it, and the damage is on. So it didn't give me the... It's, it's quite... The model is quite... Uh, it's quite um, forgiving what you do. You know, it says, okay, if you... If you crash and you're going, not going too fast, we're not going to make you perish. I like that. And at first I thought maybe it was broken and maybe I had turned on the uh, old land somewhere appropriate. I thought that maybe um, I turned on off the damage, but uh, no, it's it's a characteristic of, of the of the plane flight modeling that they're a bit more forgiving with uh, when it says uh, you're done, you're you're dead or your your plane has been destroyed or not. land around here no flaps uh, when you put th there is this lever over here when you put it down I think it, it locks something on the wing that creates more lift or landing and you have to lock it the other direction when you're doing aerobatics apparently I haven't seen, I haven't been able to find what it actually is. Maybe something in the leading edge of the wings. Maybe a bit bumpy up ahead. Let's go a little bit to the left. trying to hold her oh, man I cannot what is wrong I one more time I've been terrible today be a very strong wind this side of the mountain. This is a plane that I think would benefit from having a little string, like in the IO2 planes, flying on the back so that attach to the wings so that you can, when you're flying slow, 
may give you a sense of the direction the wind is coming from if you stall the plane. I don't know if actually in helicopters it would work better, but I'm not sure if in a plane, in a biplane, that would work as well. And they do have it in the other two planes, but um, those are even slower than this. Maybe not that much slower though. This was 1931, so probably what 20 years after the World War One biplanes. Right here, tracker is gonna get start getting thrown off. I have to pick up the green screen. It's not gonna be a very long stream today. I have a work deadline coming up, but I wanted to get a spin a shot. That looks flat enough there. Magneto's out. There's a GPS you can show. can choose whether the passer in front is there or not or an external only view it is a smart view I'm not sure what that means you can choose whether the wind field is dirty or clean Engine realism, I have it on hard. Rolling resistance, normal. I am not sure uh, what that is. I just leave it on normal. Front mouse zones, there's a bunch of little things that are hidden here. Like if you click on that, like a particular screw or stuff, something happens. You can turn those on and off so you don't do it by mistake. You can turn on persistent fuel and oil. So when you get the same plane in the next uh, flight, if you didn't put in more oil, it'll have uh, used it up. Altimeter type, that's right over there. You can actually click on the altimeter itself. Um, to change it, 
and then you can see modern uh, inches of uh, of uh, mercury or mo modern uh Oh, this is the airspeed, sorry. Okay, the airspeed is their vintage miles per hour. And both for front and rear, because there's two seats. Modern knot, vintage knot. That's a nice uh, touch there, three different gauges. Um, the altitude as well is the vintage uh, height modern inches of uh, mercury and modern uh, just I think that stands for pressure not sure oh okay I can put open the doors here both sides and this is just one of the pages of the settings you actually have others Took over over there. Keeps clicking on the door in front when I click there. There you go, I can put the pitot cover for that. And remove the engine covers. There they are. Hey Matt, I was just about to go and find you. I saw that you were on the map and I was about to come and fly around with you. Yeah, I agree with you. I went ahead and bought it anyway. I mean, I, I, I love this airplane, you know, it's one of my favorite planes. This, uh, you know, because a lot of World War II fighter pilots soloed in this, the ones in Europe. Um, but yeah, compared to the Stearman, the, the sounds are definitely disappointing. There's stuff, uh, things about them I like, but there's no wind sounds. Like, I, I, I don't feel, I don't hear the wind sounds, and, and I don't think it's 3D sound. I don't hear the panning. Yeah, the compass. This one here. I think it's because they say that, on the manual, it says that whatever the, the little, the T is pointing is north, but isn't the opposite, isn't... Isn't uh, the T uh, the opposite way in, in other planes, in the British compasses? I don't know. I like I like these touches that you can change all this stuff here. But yeah, sound I'm disappointed with. The, the flight modeling I quite like so far. Um, but yeah, just let's do a quick comparison right now. Yo, I'll take off again. Uh, let's let me just put all this on default. Yeah, agreed. This thing is... Okay, here you go. I'm just gonna go control E here. Yeah, I hope they do better sounds, but... Here, let's do a comparison right now. I'm gonna take off. And we'll fly a bit. I'm not sure what the f what this thing actually locks. I think it's some slats or on the wing. So maybe the leading edge of the wing. I'm not sure. Or oh, probably these things here on the top right there probably locks that. And you have to lock that for aerobatics apparently. Let's unlock it. Now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's it. That little thing there. One, the plane that I was thinking that I have my eye on too is the first, uh, the Beach uh, Stagger Wing. The Beach 17, I think it's called Stagger Wing. Or 18 or 19, I forget. I think it's accidentally modeled the sound of a closed cockpit. Big difference to the internal. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, there's just no wind, though, because yeah, I put my uh, head on this way and this way in aisle two. You can hear the wind coming from either way if you get it outside. But, like, if I cut the engine, like... Let's go ahead and turn off the engine completely. I love the propeller. That's really nice. That's, like, the best I've seen in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I see zero engine, zero wind sound. No wind sound. And you'd be hearing a lot of wind if you're in an open cockpit in a biplane, right? Look at that. Look at that propeller. I love it. I love the propeller. The best, better, best I've seen model in this game, the way it looks and its behavior. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll write the... I'm going to write the developer and, and, you know, give my, uh, my thoughts as a flight sim enthusiast and ask him about... Um, there's plans to improve the sound but uh, right now let's uh, go back to the main menu and let's do a quick flight with the pt-17 uh, which is the thing is it's a it's, for me personally it's the best sounding plane in the game pt-17 so it's a tall order to you know to um tall order if you're a waiter and uh you know the table orders a bunch of stuff and you have to balance it all when you're bringing it over I think that's where that comes from. So, uh, here's the PT-17. This, for me, has the best sound in the game. So, it's a tall order. Difficult to get close to this, but if I was doing a plane, I would want it to sound like this. Um, even if the engine... It's not about how the engine actually sounds. It's about how bassy it is and the, the sound of the wind. Check this out, right? I'm cutting the engine, okay. Look, you can hear the wind. You feel like you're there, you're hearing the wind, you feel like you're flying, you know, because we are flying, we're at uh, 60 knots. If we're going for 60 knots, there's a lot of wind sound, all right? The engine up. Dive up. And when it come down again, slowing down because we're diving up, we're in a stall. Wind sound stops. Going back down, wind sound, look at that, picks up and it gets louder and louder as you go faster and faster. This is how it should sound like a flight plane. Oh, and you could hear like the touch of the wheel there. And something I only noticed recently, this is the only plane in the game that I've noticed, maybe I just... It happens with the other planes, and I haven't noticed. But this actually models the sound of you of you striking the tip of the wheel on the ground. Check the sound. Oh. Hear that? <laughs> Look at the sound from outside in this thing. Such a beautiful sound. I mean, it's. I know it's a different engine from the, uh, from the, um, the Tiger Moth, but it's more bassy. The sound. There's more bass to it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna land this, and I'll do another wing strike for it. I'll try to. I'll try to scrape it a bit more so you can hear it. The sound of the wind makes it. It makes it such a huge difference. Like you're flying. It's so important. Alright, I'm just gonna strike that wing now. Oh, too hard and uh, it blew up. But, um... Now let's go back to the Tiger Moth. And, uh, I'm glad it exists. I just hope they do improve the sounds. It was the same story with the BN2 Islander. Uh, when it came out, it didn't have the 3D sounds. And later, they improved them. So I hope the uh, same thing happens here. Uh... I'm currently in Tunisia, uh, near south of Gafsa, near where the English Patients was filmed. Uh, here, let's go to this airfield over here. Nefta, Delta Tango Tango Zulu. I'll just put myself. Uh, I'll just put myself in the air above the airfield. So 
and now I cut let's do a loop let's let's go up again there is a sound of the wind but maybe Matt is right but it's just not as loud maybe it's close it's a closed cockpit as Matt is saying instead of being an open cockpit let's touch down pretty hard here see how you can hear that That's a big runway. The Air Force Base. Wheels keep spinning, that's nice. But it's such an important thing for me, sound is e easily 50%, maybe even more, of an airplane, the sound. Because it really can transport you to flying that airplane if the sound's good. So I'm going to be pestering, or not pestering, but, you know, and give some constructive criticism to the, to the developer. But almost a 25 knot win here. About improving the sounds of this. Otherwise, a lovely piece of work. Really nice modeling. Uh, 3D modeling, the airplane. Very nice flight modeling. I like the flight modeling as well. So it's a fun place. It's a fun plane to do touch and goes with. Yeah, that is so cool. Like you, you can, if you do like the hard engine mode startup, you actually have to open the engine cover and go in there and prime the engine in the on the side of it. Here, let's let's uh, let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at the checklist. The land of a tailwind here. Let's do it. No. All right. <sighs> Getting used to it still. And I'm flying all sorts of uh, odd angles. And I'm just a really bad pilot right now. All right, let's let's land her. And then uh, we'll start her up. That stick landing coming up. Magnetos off. See, the sound of the wind is, is louder from the outside. 
think you're on on the spot about that, Matt. I think accidentally the sound was modeled from a, a after a clo enclosed cockpit. This airplane, they actually land by, uh, they actually look out the side because you have bad visibility from the ear, you know, you have to look out the sides where the heck you're going. for the checklist. Little cover uh, removed. Check. Fuel levels. It's up here. Check. Luggage compartment back here. Locked. We're going solo. Front uh, column removed and stowed. Checked. Safety harness fastened. Checked. No loose articles, all that. All right. Let's try to push this side a bit. Poor starting engine, intercom function. Just imagine that's connected. Elevator trim uh, nose up. Check uh, magnetos off. They're off, both the off position. Back. Off. Okay, that's off. Auto. Close. All right. Starting engine. Let's do a hot engine. Now we just landed. Got a hot engine complete. Let's start skipping the engine prime. Okay, let's let's see what happened if we had uh, the stuff. I can go, I can go. Back to the box. Switch is off. Oh, they actually call off. They also, they also make the calls. Go on. This is how you actually A little annoying this I, I try to click on this but it opens the front door there's a bit of a bug that let's try to go the other way The, I can't find the wheel cock. I thought it would be in this one. Oh, there they are. Wheel trucks on. Okay, wheel trucks set. There, there you are. Crew call. Which is are off. Alright, shoe cocks on. We turned that on. Auto close. We've done all that. 
primer. All right, now we have to go back here, and we have to open. We have to actually open the the door for the. You know, I prefer pressing Control E, but I like that this is actually modeled. You actually have to open the the right engine door, I believe. Now it's open, so now we can go to the primer. Wait, where was it? Throttle close, switch off. I think it's this thing? Where is it? Here. Here you go. You press the primer right there in the engine. Alright. Propeller, pull clockwise, clockwise four times. So one, two, three, a boy with my toy here four times throttle set that's a cruel call throttle open half an inch it's nice the camera views move all around for you contact just like in uh, the english patient magneto's front uh let's go ahead and put him on run on the back one's already on let's turn him on again Elevator control, full backward, okay. Pilot call, contact. Okay. Propeller, pull to start. All right. And here we go. You can use the, oh, the handbrake to set release chocks. That's, that's good to know. Let's try that out. Funny, not working for me. Maybe I have. Uh, maybe something to do with my views right now because I'm still in that checklist thing. Uh, starting engine after starting engine. All right. 900 to 1,000 RPM for four minutes. My engine was was already was already uh, hot, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Elevator trim, front throttle, all this mixture, full rich. This is an odd thing. Full rich is back in this, I think. Not full, it's back. Altimeter is set. Airspeed indicator check. Fine instruments. Oil pressure 40 to 45 PSI. It's over here. Huh. Maybe I have to wait. It's getting to 40. But it's climbing up. Slot lever locked. Okay, it's nice that they actually have labels here. Lock this back. And this uh, basically are these little things here. <laughs> Locked. Come back here. I don't unlock them. So they move up. Yeah. Unlocked. Locked. All right. Right now it's locked. No, right now it's locked. Good. Fire extinguisher. I guess it's under here somewhere. I don't see it. Maybe it's behind this pad over here. Try to make this disappear. There. Um. Okay. Magnetos check both on. We okay. They're they're all they're both on. Fuel quantity up there. I think. I think we have about half a tank. Let's let's increase it and see if it uh, changes it. Let's put a 90 the oil tank around 90 as well. 
There you go. Now that's high up. That's the fuel right there. Hey, how's it going, Iceberg? Trucks mostly go off with beacon lights, maybe, or maybe with VFB. Copy that. How are you doing, Iceberg? Good day. Um, all right. Altimeter. It's, was it B for the altimeter? Be set automatically. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I have work deadline coming up uh, end of this week, and I, and next week I go to to Italy to see my mom for most of October, I think. So no more flight simulator streams for a while. Um, but uh, yeah, doing all right. It's gonna be a busy next uh, month. Flight controls free and contact. All right. Taxi, elevator trim, front of a check, avoid taxi on the RPM check, flight control screen, contact, run up, good truck set, uh, auto 1600, we can go test, drop 100 RPM, up, 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 I'm just not gonna worry about any of this other than removing the wheel chocks. Uh, I can actually click on them. Nice. Oops. Camera view. Uh. Uh, to Europe. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa! I forgot the engine cover on. But I'm already flying because there's 25 knot wind here. Oops. Got the engine cover open. So you have checklist. Uh, where is it? There. tell the pilot if you can fly also since you're doing any flights and marks flights <laughs> i think they i landed in a in a i used to go to the to the cockpit all the time when i was a kid and actually they let me land in uh i think it was a, a 737 or something once they put me in the seat behind the pilots and let me land when i was a kid but this was that was before 9 11 after 9 11 they locked the cockpit door and no one's allowed in but but i usually talk to the pilots a bit and say, you know, good landing, compliment them on their landings and stuff. We'll see, I'll, I'll let you know what plane it will be. Uh, I'll look at my... at my... Um, at my ticket and let you know, Iceberg. Yeah, maybe no insurance would be better if I'm flying an airliner. Uh, not a good idea. I like this plane a lot. I don't like the sound. Unfortunately, I think there's issues with the sound, and I hope that they they sort them out. But but the flight uh, characteristics, just the quality of the 3D model, very nice. And I love it's my favorite propeller so far. Visually, the propeller is my favorite in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's done so well. Like when you cut it, then you can see it. And it looks really there. It looks really cool and the uh, real and when you spin her up then you can't see it anymore yeah it does yeah I, I think I think it needs more base and I don't think it's 3d I don't think it's the Y sound whoa here's Matt there he is Let's form up. Yeah, 
And I was gonna get this anyway because it's one of my favorite airplanes, the Tiger Moth. Tiger Moth, BN2, P-51, Stearman, you know, a lot of uh, World War II pilots soloed in these things, so I read about these planes when I read the uh, biographies of these uh, pilots. And just a lovely machine, still a lot of them flying these days. I submitted to Neofly yesterday with two libraries. It was late at night, I, I was gonna do all of them, but I was like, oh, I'm just gonna submit two for now, maybe we can do the rest later, so hopefully they'll add it to Neofly soon. And we can have it there. And I put the cost, uh, like $85,000, did some Googling, apparently can get one of these things for around $85,000. So, you know, rich people. Are... size of that tail the whole thing is the rudder basically <laughs> what up what up Matt uh, I'm gonna have to keep for flying Because, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a situation over there. This guy, Fitura Light, came in here. He said, hey, does this guy, uh, he, you should have a talk with him. And I think he's right, Vinny. Don't hang up the phone. I'm gonna talk about this, okay? I just wanna talk about this with, I lost Matt. I don't know where he was. I put on sunglasses here. You know, I'm flying. I'm, I'm in Tunisia. I know it's been a long time, but I heard that you... You're making a move into the lavanderia there. We leave New York, you arrive, and you just decide that you want to... All of a sudden, you're interested in the business? Is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah, this guy, Fichira Lights, my guy in Indonesia, you know? I mean, he's not my guy, but he's like a, a member of the organization, you know? Yeah, we're gonna bring him over, and but there's gonna be other people that are gonna be coming over because they're unhappy about this. Uh, they're unhappy about... You coming in after all these years and you're not interested in in the in the lavanderia and that uh, you weren't gonna touch it, you were not interested in the business, and then all of a sudden we leave New York City and all of a sudden you show up and you want to get into lavanderia. I, I don't understand, and uh, they were, you didn't. There was no consultation. You just showed up. But I'm glad you're calling me because you know the. I have some some guys that are, they're really not not they're, they're really unhappy about the situation. But let me put it that way. Yeah, Fichura here is, is even talking about making an offer you can't ref, you can't refuse. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I, I don't want any bloodshed. There's enough bloodshed on the news. I mean, there's a freaking war going on. Can you get one of your people to take care of that guy, uh, Rusky over there? You know, he's killing all his own people. But I'm glad you're calling me, Vinny. Yeah, there's Fichura Light. I'll, I'll, look, I'll put you in touch with him. It's better that we talk than we fight. I, I think that'll save a lot of... Not, it'll be good business, you know. There's family and there's business, uh, but it's a, sometimes you, you just gotta talk, you know. Yeah, yeah I'm flying a little airplane, alright? But look, I'll, I'll put you in touch if you cheer a light. Maybe you just need a holiday. Maybe maybe you have to you have to get maybe you have to get like your uh, your bearings a little bit. You know, the big city will do that to you. You after a while you start thinking uh, 
You start thinking, what the heck am I doing here? Uh, it's lonely. There's so many people, but no one talks to you. It's uh, I, I miss nature. You need a vacation. I think you should go to Indonesia. I'll put you in top your future light. And uh, and uh, but but this is this this is the thing. Uh, you, you're gonna have to you know. You, you're gonna have to give him something for 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 his time. Yes. All right. All right. All right, Vinny. Thanks for calling me. I'll. You know, I was sending a guy up there to have a, a word with you in, in person. But uh, now that you call me, maybe we can tell, we, I can tell this guy, no, let's just wait up and see what happens. I'm glad you called. All right, thank you. Yeah, like, yeah. People tell me nine millimeter headaches here. I have this guy, Matt, flying with me here in, the, in Tunisia. I lived there when I was a, uh, was a, a teenage brat. Now I'm flying there in a, in a simulator, yeah. Biplanes, yeah, it just came out yesterday, uh, the, the tiger moth. It's a moth, but it's like powerful like a tiger and it flies in the sky, Vinny. Yeah, you should get the game, it's good for you. You hang out with people, you meet new people, you, you just hang out, you know. It started the pandemic. Yeah, this guy Matt Rog is fine, he's like some audio guy, you know. I mean, I told him, hey, do that Wikipedia thing. Uh, where you, you know, they give you two, I know it's a lot of money, but you know, you get your name on something, it could be a ident sound to make the people that uh, are listening, you know. And, tra oh, and another thing I want to talk about is track IR, I'm going to have to send someone to talk to those people, you know. But anyway, this guy Matt, he said uh, he doesn't want to do ident anymore, he said if he did one it would be like a, a toilet flush sound with a blood curdling scream. Alright. All right, I'll, yeah, let's let's not go too far there. Uh, <laughs> oh, they just did a great. This guy's a bit of a of a hot rod over here. Flies crazy. All right, Vinny, I got to go. Iceberg, Iceberg has to talk. All right, I'll send you to I'll send you pictures details. All right, all right, peace out. Welcome, Futura. Thank you for uh, bringing Jimmy Boss to the stream. Tell him I'll pick him up from the. <laughs> By the way, Nvidia game driver is is. I was thinking about that iceberg. Is is it worth updating? I'm my my philosophy about. Oh, and I'm not hearing anything because uh, I don't have one. Uh, and truck IRs. Here, let me land here. My philosophy about. Graphics drivers, if, if it ain't broken, I don't fix it, okay? So if, it, if my games are running fine, I don't update it because it just often causes me more headaches than they're worth. So my question to you is... God damn it, track we are. My... Stop. My question to you is... Does updating the NVIDIA driver help with Microsoft Flight Simulator or any other video games? I guess mainly Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> Send Mr. Wick to track a yard. <laughs> Don't have to try is the Greek philosophy never change a running Trojan horse. <laughs> Sorry Matt, I crashed. Hey Matt, stay there. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna as a compare and contrast. Alright, yeah, lovely landing. As a compare and contrast. Let's get the PT-17 Steerman here. Where, where's Matt? There he is. Let's do the English patient. You, you're with the, you're with the, uh... You're with the, the, the Haviland Tiger Moth. I'm gonna take the PT-17, just like in the English patient, alright. No guesses to, until November, Iceberg. I'm taking a break for them because I'm also going to be... Uh, I'm going to stop Microsoft Flight Simulator stream, streams until I'm back. So I just decided to... to um, pause the guesses until November. They, are, they will be back. Hopefully by then uh, the better points uh, thing will be working as well. Oh, wait. Did I not click the part from Matt? Damn. See, in this, you have 
the, the wind sound, the wind sound is, is, is there on this. The other one, it can barely hear it. sound down is that better is that better sorry my pleasure sorry about that Oh, but Icebird says all the immersion is gone now. <laughs> Can't make everyone happy. <laughs> A bit higher. I'm just heading towards Matt. He's flying the, the Tiger Moth. And the PT-17. Hello, Rinde Katato. Good day. Yeah, it was pretty loud. I have to visually see. Ever since I started getting the uh, the sound from a particular application OBS, I can't control the sound of the application through the Windows um, system volume control anymore. And I only realized that recently. So my audio levels are probably bad recently. <laughs> I apologize for that. Now that I realize that, though. Hope it'll be better. All right, there's Matt. He's in the Tiger Moth. I'm in the PT-17. Let's form up. Or if the catheter, I'm sorry. Well, I blame Google. bit of dog fighting here with Matt. Level of detail really goes down fast in this. Just ignoring air traffic control. They'll, they'll just end the, end the communication shortly. I mean, the updates certainly bring good features, but re already have a solution for separating apps yeah, you use that banana thing, right? The audio banana. Uh, I'm alright, uh, Rin. Uh, a little busy with work. But, um... And I'm going to see my mom this next month. So my streams are going to become... They're going to become more about games uh, that run on my little Mac. If they happen at all. I'm pretty sure they will though, because I'm gonna spend a lot of time with my mom at home and, you know, I'm gonna miss uh, chatting with you all, so they're gonna be more about uh, games that are on my Mac and less, of, well, almost no flight sims. I, I can stream War Thunder from the Mac, I think, because it runs on the Mac. The only flight simulator I have that runs on the Mac as well. Um... Oh. They keep trying. This air traffic controller is really, uh, really insistent here. Look at that. There's the Tiger Moth. This is really cool. Matt, really wonderful flying here. I did a touch. Eat all the pasta for us and please extend your guys to her. A copy will do, Futura. I'm going to take her for dinner. Your mom's visiting you? Cool, man. How have you been? You all right?
The English Patient was filmed around this area, uh, the, the scenes that were filmed in the, de the desert scenes. And uh, it's one of my favorite films. And in the English Patients, there's a PT-17 Stearman, the plane I'm flying, and there's a tiger, the Haviland Tigers moth, which is what Matt's flying right ahead of me. Just came out from Ants Airplanes, lovely airplane. I, I think the sound could be much better, but I, and I hope they keep working on that. But uh, but a nice uh, a nice airplane. I'm just such a stickler. I'm just such a critic of sound. It's so important for me, and in, in, especially in flight simulators, that uh, I have to you know I have to insist that it's as good as it can be. A chronic cough. Just because by something in your apartment, it isn't that good. All right. Is it cold where you're at? You can get some air flowing through there. I don't know if you're allergic to. And uh, I have friends of mine who are allergic to cats. So when they come to our place, they cough a lot because we have cats. The ground you can. F I like how, how these biplanes you can pretty easily touch only one wheel. Some screenshots here. To the star of this stream, which is the, the Haviland Tiger Moth. Let's touch her down right here. Ooh. But just as an example of this plane, okay, this plane actually models the, the PT-17 actually models you striking the edge of the of the of the I don't think there's another plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator that models the sound of your wing hitting the ground. Look at this. Oh. I did it too hard and it blew up, but it does, it, it, if you do it in the, if you're flying, you touch it, it won't just give you this, it'll actually go creak, with this loud screech, you know. Did, was it my stream? Did I, uh, maybe my stream imploded. Okay, so it wasn't Matt, it was me. Sorry about that. I don't, don't know if that was track IR feature, but uh, set as departure. Let me make sure that uh, I think I, that's what I did before. Let's just get that one. Let's get uh, this library over here. And then we'll go to Matt, set as departure, fly. Your wife, she got a new knee today and, uh, and she's COVID positive. Oh dear. Yeah, I hope she gets better soon. I, I just heard the yesterday day before that another friend of mine is positive right now as well. Still around, you know. But she's fine. Yeah, I mean, I think COVID has just become, uh, you know, it's uh, it's going to be like a flu, you know. You're, it's going to be normal to have it from now on. As long as you have the vaccine, hopefully you're okay. Uh, and again, I started here instead of where Matt is. Let's restart that and see. Set us departure. Fly. Let's can tell us turn the music up a little bit, please. This looks like a bug. It keeps putting me on the ground instead of uh, on mat. I hope so, future. I mean, I think you know, our our bodies will evolve to fight it better. So hopefully, oh, there he is. He's starting on the ground here too. Cool.
Wasabi, turn off engine. Okay, Waz, you're the boss. Magneto's off. Lovely propeller, this best one in the game so far, the, the graphics and the, the propeller. Alright, Magneto's on. Here's how you start the plane. Uh, you go to the outside, you go outside. Um, I do it from, from, I don't even know if I can do that from the drone view, let's see. I think I have to be in cockpit view. I think I have to be in cockpit here. Easiest way is to go to the checklist. Uh, starting engine. What engine? Click on that. Just actually pull the propeller. Ooh. Did I foul the spark plugs? I just do this. Hopefully you get that message. And um, I will be back uh, maybe tonight. Yeah, it might be track IR. I don't know what the heck's going on. But uh, I apologize for that. Any suggestions for someone for us to raid while uh, it's working? Have a good one, Iceberg. Thanks for your life for dropping by. Raz Wasabi. Um, and Rin Decatato. Iceberg. Matt, thanks for flying with me as always. Space Star, thank you for dropping by. And. Um, yeah, I may be back a little uh, for a little bit tonight with gener uh, either Noita or Horizon Zero Dawn number two. We'll see how uh, how things pan out. Angry One Horn. All right, let's check him out. Is he angry? Retired Air Force fighter aircraft maintainer. Okay, I think yeah, I think I've read him before. Let's uh, let's go say hi to. Are, are you are you are you streaming, Icebird? If you're streaming, I'll raid you. Oh, you're one away from fifty. No, you're offline right now. Okay. All right, raid. Angry one horn. Too lazy, copy that. If anyone here hasn't given a follow to Iceberg for all, please uh, give him a follow to give him that 50th follower for uh, Jeff Bezos' aff affiliate status. So, okay. 
Amazon is not only owned by Jeff Bezos anymore. I don't think. I hope not. No. Anyway. There we go. Copy that. Thank you so much, Icebird. And uh, thank you all for hanging out. Let's go say hi to Angry One Horn. I'm just waiting a little bit for the ad to finish up. But let's just go. All right. Peace out. Sorry about the connection issues. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I hope that uh, you have a wonderful rest of your day. You again soon.